Modification Station. It is the final option. I is that option. Are you also Here is you go. that option? Oh, wow. What's the, I don't even know what, what this game is going to be. Nope. This is an unreleased game. In our segment modification station. So our mileage may vary. <laughs> we have no idea what this is. What's going to happen Our first here. target is Nanotech's underground munitions Oh, the game's depot. starting now? I guess. Oh, this is like the intro, the yeah. cinematic. Yeah. Oh, press start. All right, I'm going to the munitions depot. You're in a storage area. Target one, stage one, fight. Oh, sorry. Click, click. Whoa. Man, it's a little bit like he must have done motion capture work for this. Looks like it. Uh oh, uh oh. That construction worker knows karate. That construction worker's dead. I thought I had a machine gun. It looks like you're holding a machine gun here. <laughs> no, I saw that as a, as a, a karate it's his fighting stance. Yeah. Oh, that's yeah. the thing. I've got a dodge for. It's a dodge forward though. He moves. That's a move like a ninja. <laughs> oh, 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 oh Steve. Steve, man. What? Oh, oh, you can teleport back that's in. That's cool. Because you're a robot. <laughs> Gonna. Chop it. Oh! No! You had to run through. Oh! No, I did just have to hit it. You chopped it. Jakey Kate Cray says, it's unreleased. Yeah, so this never actually came out. Um, it was made for the Super Nintendo with Steven Seagal's input, I believe. Let me read. I'm going to read a little bit about it for y'all. Hmm. How do we think jumping happens? Maybe I can just go in this door. Oh, I can. Okay, cool. Mm, there's some cheats. Wait, how long is this thing? Oh, there's a two-player mode. I think it just takes turns, though. No. Oh, really? But I don't know if it's worth trying to figure out. It says have pro reaction replay code seven e one yeah blah blah oh, active yeah. when starting the game from the title screen to access a functional two-player mode. Like it seems like it's part of the game. Like it's not, uh, it's, you don't even play a Steven Seagal. He oh! Woman. He plays a woman. Whoa, you got a gun! I also have. Oh! Knives. How do I jump is the thing I need to know. I was trying to find that out. Hmm. I know how. Jump off a level? Fall in the pit and just <laughs> teleport to the other side. Jiggy says, what's this segment about? Because he's never seen that intro card before. Yeah, it's one of our newer segments. We only played it a few times. Terminal screen gives context-sensitive help. I think that's oh, unfinished. Useful. <laughs> yeah. Context-sensitive help. Also respawns all the enemies. Um, we look at modifications. Basically, things that fans have done to video games over the years. And that basically comes in three main categories. There's games that were unreleased, that never actually came out, but fans somehow over the years have gotten their code and have made them playable. Yeah. Like this. Then there's fan modifications, where fans take games and add crazy yes! stuff to them. Nice. These construction workers never stood a chance. No, nope. I'm a cop. <laughs> Quit doing crimes, you guys. And then there's uh, fan translations. When fans translate games that never released in English. So we, we try all those types of games in this segment. Jakey says, so mods. Yeah, basically. But also unreleased stuff as well. I don't know how to jump. <laughs> uh... Yes! Check this out. Mostly, yeah, so. Mm, that was like a sweet combo. I did like a back fist. So, this is a, a Super Nintendo, they call it a fighting game here. It kind of is. I guess. Beat em up, basically. 
based on Seagal's likeness that was planned for release in 1994 before being cancelled. Only a beta with two levels remains, but most of the gameplay is intact. So, like, all the moves were Except there. Except for the jumping. <laughs> Yeah, I don't know what, like, the scientists, do they even fight you at all? Yeah, they try and take, uh, do a hit, but they just die. There's definitely a jump move. There definitely is a jump button. But every button seems to be accounted for. I just watched a video. Oh, do you think this jumped. is the jump? This here? No? No. Hmm. No, he does, like, a whole sort of run jump. Not, not, not quite a run, it's like a step jump. Hmm. Oh, I did something. That I looked think, like it. I think yeah. I did a jump. Chop it. Yeah, you, you elbowed it. I, I hate computers. <laughs> Jakey says, "Do you think this would have done well if it had released?" Absolutely not. <laughs> no, definitely, it would have been. Didn't have a movie to piggyback off. It would have been laughed at. Yeah. yeah. Oh, ah. good one, but too far away. That's what you do, though. Oh, there's the exit. <laughs> oh, I can't just go there. The exit of this... What? Where are you? An underground sewer? Yeah, I guess the sewer factory? Yeah. All right. Hey, I did a jump. Jake, he was going to ask how far it was in development before it was canceled, but it got answered before. Yeah, kind of. It was sort of answered. It was like... It's hard to say. They only had two levels done. They clearly did some... But they did a bunch of work on the, the the gameplay, for sure. So, yeah, probably fairly... Pretty far in. At least a few months. You think we're going to run into a boss? <laughs> Definitely months or run into this. Be, be oh, up. That's, uh, that's insane that you, you could just walk. It's just like a 2D picture. Yeah. That you just walk over. In the front he walks. Jakey says, why do you think they cancelled it? <laughs> Look at it. I don't know. I mean, there could be lots of different things. Maybe Seagal didn't sign off on it or something. I bet he's into it. I, he almost certainly is. Yeah. But, you know, it can be lots of different things. They can just throw a wrench. It could be a copyright thing. It could be... No, it's because it plays like hot <laughs> shit. <laughs> no, so many games played like hot shit. I, this is a special kind of hot and shit. And this already, this had a name attached to it. But maybe, like, the po there's a possibility maybe they couldn't, like, yeah. Seagull like, fever might have ended before <laughs> Yeah, that. exactly. For whatever reason, maybe the publisher ah. dropped out. Maybe it was because it played, like, hot shit. I got some more context-sensitive help. And then I got cornered by two more scientists. The money ran out. Maybe they spent too much money. What's the studio who made it? Technotronics? Uh, good question. I bet the studio just went out of business. What? Uh-oh. Fighting drones. What? Where's the drone? Yes! Can you punch it? I'm Steven Seagal. I punch drones. Yeah! I walk over boxes. Uh... Yeah. I... <laughs> uh... Riedel Software Productions. Oh. Classic Riedel. Hmm. I don't think there's anything here. I don't see. They did, like, licensed games. Oops. Sesame Street Countdown. Win, lose, or draw. Win, lose, or draw? On the NES, yeah. That sounds great. Yep. Tom and Jerry on the SNES, the hunt for Ren October on the SNES. Some good stuff. That's like, like everything they did is licensed. Bobby's World on the SNES. But what I just, this is how I found out who did it. Wasn't Bobby's World the Louie Anderson cartoon? Uh, no, that was the uh, Steve Gutenberg cartoon. Oh, okay. Bobby's World. Wasn't it Steve Gutenberg? Yeah, I think you might be right. Yeah. I don't remember the Louis Anderson cartoon. There was one of those too. That sounds so, great. I'm sure it was really, really good. Um, this is how I found out who made it, though. Because hmm. I could not find it for a while because there's no Wikipedia or anything. But... Look, this sewer man is walking in the water. Sewer man. Sewer man. He's becoming a true sewer man. Oh, get out of there, sewer man. He's become, yeah, made of 
Sewer. Dr. Frankenstein's coming to get you. Do they do anything? I mean, I can just run past everybody. Do they, do they even attack you at all? I don't think so. <laughs> uh, because there's a bunch of cheat codes. Yeah. And the, the button combinations for all the cheat codes, except for one, are identical to those used in Beethoven, the ultimate canine caper by the same developer. Weird. I, the exit to the left, whoa. Wow. He walks like he's doing a fun he's like, Yeah, he's got moves. <laughs> totally. Oh, I think that, even picking up the health was stylish. <laughs> yeah, he sort of does have like a uh, Corey Feldman <laughs> style to him. Oh. Whoa. <laughs> Too much fancy forward. I don't know where to go. Is the level exit does the, Oh, Ooh. there's no exit sign? Maybe those are the two levels. I, oh, I've already done them? Maybe. I, I, I assume there'd be a different uh, area. I assume you probably have to cheat to get to level two. I'm just going to look, though. It doesn't look like it. I think you're done. Didn't go in this door. Mm. Yeah, like this, this demo just ends when he gets to a dead end. Okay, that's, yeah. And then he jumps off a cliff. <laughs> Oh. Seagull. Never not fun to jump off a cliff as Steven Seagull. <laughs> especially when you can walk. Like, It'd be great if it was that that's what was Steven Seagal. He kind of Seagal. has the same energy as, you know, the, like, gif of John Travolta from Pulp Fiction? Yeah, that's true. Yeah, just doing the, like, sneaky walk and yeah, dancing. Yeah, it's true. It's just with kung fu instead of dancing. Yeah. But it's a fine line. Dancing kung fu, absolutely. Yeah. And <laughs> Seagull walks it perfectly. It's hard to dance walk when you're going upwards. Jakey says cancel games interest him because he's interested to see why it was canceled or what it would look like if it did come out and some other things that he can't think of. <laughs> it is, no, it's interesting to us too. That's why we wanted to play it. It's like, yeah. yeah. I, I'd love to like interview the people who made this game. One of these days we should play Thrill Kill. What's that? That's a PS1 fighter that, oh. that got canceled because it was too violent. Wasn't that on uh, Sean Baby's Worst Games of All Time? I think it was yeah. also, yeah. yeah. And then the, that game eventually turned into uh, Wu-Tang Shaolin. Oh, weird. Style. Yeah. That's weird, too. Which I also have, and I love Wu-Tang Shaolin style. Huh. That game is ridiculous. Uh, nice. We'll add another one for the list of modifications. Yeah. It's on here. But I think that's about it. That's this. all we got for this. First I mean, cigar. I've I like there's, this is oh, new content. Oh, headbutt bottom. Oh, this is new content. This Never mind. New content. Never mind. But I mean, this new content. We're finding more in this. What's that? I don't know how to pick things up. Mine. Oh. There we go. Nice find. I don't know how to use any of the things I've found. <laughs> I know how to use my gun and my knife, but it's easier to just. <laughs> Jakey says, "Teenage Mutant Ninja." That's right. They're gonna like. This is probably the origin of the turtles. Teenage Mutant Superman, Teenage Mutant Superman. <laughs> what are you talking about, Jakey? That, that sounds like a new show that we could make. Star I, was, I was a teenage Superman. Teenage Mutant Superman. It's about how Seagal goes into the sewers to fight one day. Right. And when he comes out, he's a Teenage Mutant Superman. And we'd use the we'd use technology. It would still be Seagal's performances, but we use technology to de-age him. Oh, that'd be great to baby age. <laughs> oh yeah, exactly. Cutify. We just use those like Instagram, those like uh, TikTok. Oh, okay. We killed Steven Seagal. No. That's how I get past this barrier. <laughs> <laughs> My elbow attack's not working. Oh no. Okay, I don't know what to do. We might be, now we might be at our. Look at how many skulls are in that. Yeah, in this is sewer. a definite serial killer's lair. Yeah. What the hell is that? Okay. How many bullets uh, do I have? Do I just have unlimited? Looks like. I don't know what those meters are. One's yeah. your health. Oh. Okay. Well, yeah, that was that was awesome. I'm just gonna dance as Steven Seagal. It's totally worth it. Uh, now I'm gonna play one pistol whip. 
Oh yeah, you recharged <laughs> this your batteries. Is an insane show, yeah. Oh boy. Yeah. Oh, whoops, why did I do that? Okay. Oh, I feel like all of our most manic shows are our craziest. They're the most Catherine episodes. Yeah, exactly. This is definitely a Catherine episode today. Super. It's going to get even more Catherine. Hell yeah.